Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to Aldermod 7 to the sky. So before we get started, is I wanted to show you guys my process, because I, I think that I made this... I, I just got used to this process, and it works really well, and I want to know is how long it takes me to um, get all the materials from one stack of compressed cobble, 63 actually. And I'm just going to show you guys the process, so what I usually do is dump all my stuff in here, nine spots, because there's how much I have on the bar, right? Because you're going to get so many materials that you're going to be full. Then I take nine of these. And I'm going to use the timestamps of the video um, when I edit it so I can find out the total time it took me to do. I just toss these because 63, there's a reason for it. And, yep, I almost forgot. You go two and number three. And then I'll just put them over here. And I'm not going to go, like, super fast, like, trying to break a record or something, no. But, and there we go. And then just one hammerino. And then I put these away again. Alright, and then I split this up into nine stacks. And then I go mouse wheel, one of each. And then I take these eight and put them there. Now I have nine stacks of 63. And then I just hop up here. And do this. And the reason for that is that if you do 64, the last one of your stack is just going to be single, right? And that's a waste of time. And then as soon as I use the last stack here now, I switch to number two. So I'm ready and it just goes straight through. And I'm going to just do the rest here real quick and then we see how long this took. So from the moment I opened this crafting table until I was done, I checked the time stack. It took me three minutes and nine seconds. Now you can speed this up easier if you go with 64s and 63s and make this a 4x4 because then it's 16 which you know 64 divided by 16 is 4 so that's a little bit faster then right but honestly look at the amount of materials i got from this that's that's a lot right so you guys are gonna see i did a couple of things to the base um between episodes Let's toss this. I always toss the rest of the flint because the drawer is full and I do not know what in the world I need all this flint for. Um, I made a storage controller. Now, in order to that, I needed soul sand, right? And soul sand is very easy. I automated this a little bit here. I just put this in here. Um, just regular sand. Goes in witch water and then gets sucked out to here and I did the same setup for clay. Uh, I'm, I don't need to show you guys. It's, it's simply just sucking it out, putting it in. And then these all go into this chest, right? And I got, I don't know, maybe that the amount of nether quartz you get is insane. Um, you get a lot. So it was really easy. And that well, was how I was able to do that. And I also completed right there, getting started. This one right here, the soul sand. And then also this one. So now we have almost everything but the meshes and these um, extra cobble gents. Now, guys, don't worry. We're going to automate this process today. But before we do that, I wanted to show you guys something in the Twilight Forest that I did. Um, because I didn't want so much on the on the base here. I made some sh uh, sharpening stones because that's going to make it cheaper to repair my pickaxe and stuff. Right? But we're going to go ahead and go to the Twilight now. Made some little stairs here and you guys see there's an area. I flattened out some dirt so I got tons of dirt now. And I put stuff over here, like the, the watermelons, the pumpkins, the cactus, and then all the different saplings I have, right? So I have a tree farm ready. There's two spruce, two dark oak, some birch, and these right there I got from sifting leaves. That's why you guys see the comma. Sorry. The comma here. Um, because with the comma, if you break, you get the leaves. And those, I made another sieve. You guys saw it next to my bed. Um... And I can actually leave the comma here and the hole. I don't need those on me. That's fine. It saves me some room. Um, because you need, in, you only get it in a flint mesh. And I put a bunch of le oak leaves, no dark oak leaves, yes, through. And I got these trees right here, the mineral, right? Because we might need those. And I also got these rubber ones. Because we're going to need those for IC2. I'm, I'm going to keep calling it IC2. It is... FTB, industrial, blah, 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 okay? And then, while I was building this, and I had to go up to take down the, the top of one of these, these these giant trees here. What are these called again? The canopy trees, right? 
And I looked down and I don't I didn't notice it before. Um I, I should have, but I didn't. And this looked like a perfect round mound. And I'm like, is this one of these hollow hills? The small ones. There's a big one and a small one usually. And it sure is. I dug in here. I just wanted to break in and look at this. There's there's ore everywhere. I didn't take it and especially Aldemodium. Mm-hmm. Right here. So I wanted to oh yeah, down here I got this because there's like a little underground area. It's closed off. But I hear a lot of noises, spawner noises. Right? So I wanted to dig in there with you guys and see what we can find. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher, maybe here. Ah, uh, by the way. Do you guys have any idea why Tinkers doesn't have a shovel anymore? You can't make a shovel. There is no nothing in the um in the Tinker station to to actually make a shovel. Um the only thing I see is once we get this anvil made, we could make a um what should I call it? A excavator. Okay. Right, is this maybe not hollow? But I did hear a lot of mobs inside. Um, let's check the map here real quick. I am pretty much in the middle. Okay. Let's see. If I come down. If we are gonna break into this. I don't want to vein mine so I don't fall to my death. And I'm back in my tunnel. So are these not hollow anymore? I have to go south from here. That's where I came from. All right, let's go break. You guys hear that, right? That's one of these goblins, I think. Mm, is it maybe deeper? Hmm. Maybe they just have these little pockets now. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going here because I can just slash home to get out of here. Alright, there we go. What are you? A red cap goblin. And it's super bright here with the glowstone, so I don't even need this torch. And there can also be some chests down here. Okay. Yeah, can you imagine if I take all this down? That's going to be an insane amount of ores. Five torches left. Why am I having such a problem? I selecting my torches. There you are. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that came from that spawner. Gold ore. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's cool. Eventually, I'm going to vein mine this whole thing out. And, like I said, then we have a ton of ore. That's the guy, Red Cap Goblin. That's the ones that spawn from there. So we actually have our first spawner. So there's lots of spawners in the Twilight Forest, but we could make a... There's a chest right there. Let's see what we get. Or ma oh, or magnet. I think that thing. We're gonna try that out right now. Um, okay. I don't want to dig up, so we're just gonna do home, and I'm gonna jump back through. It's gonna make it easier. I believe that or magnet when you use it. So let's use it right here. Sucks all the ore up to the surface. Yeah, you guys see that? So now, and then I can vein mine it here. If 
my pickaxe isn't broken. What? It doesn't fix it all the way? There we go. And I'm just going to close this off again. But yeah, that's the ore magnet, how it works. I don't really want to destroy this, this hole here. But yeah, anyway, so I wanted to show you guys this. Now let's go back and I'm going to go... Oh, I made three more windmills too, if you guys see right there. So now we have a little bit more power because when I used a couple of the machines at once, you know, one windmill couldn't hold up because it only makes 33 RF and like this machine here... No, it doesn't show you when it's not running, but like I think every one of these here uses at least 20 um, RF per tick, and so I just didn't have enough, right? And then I made eight iron chests because we do have a lot of materials now. It was the first copper and then iron, and then I just labeled them up there like this, right? So we got like alloys, I call them you know, whatever stuff that doesn't fit in the category there. Then this is all crafting stuff, all kinds of stone materials, wood, random gobbledygook, mob-related items. So I would put this in here. Yes. And then here we have plants. And then here other stuff, like seeds and so on, right? Um, and let's... Oh, I can't. I got to put all this in here. Which is nice. I gotta put an input to this as well. But let's just get this copper started. And yeah, I prepare some stuff because I want to automate the sifting today. Um, we have enough materials now to do that. And hey, automation is the name of this pack to me. I'm gonna show you guys the whole process this time. From start to end on how I'm gonna make the machines. It's gonna be many little cuts. But I just feel like showing this to you guys this time. I need a bunch of slime balls. Um, to get started with IC2. So, I just went... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad I showed this. Are you kidding me? So, this I cannot automate because it used the mushrooms as... Oh. And if I break that, then the connections are going to be gone. Yeah. This one right there. Okay, I'm glad I showed you guys this because that's a bummer. I mean, it's no problem because I can get a bunch of um, mushrooms again. I actually just got took down two more to get enough for this project. But that sucks. Um, okay, so I guess I have to kind of hand feed these, but this is already 18, right? Let's see if I can do... What You know what? Let me grab some bone meal. Okay, is there a slash back? There is, very nice. Okay, because I just broke the last one right here, and if we use this with bone meal, boom, there's another one. Take it down, take it down, and this should still be mycelia, so I can make this real fast over here and make up for the lost mushrooms just now. Let's do one more, and then that's plenty that we're going to need. So... Now you guys know how I'm getting all the slime balls. Break the slime blocks into balls and start cooking them. And that is going to give us our first rubber. Because the other way to get rubber is from the centrifuge here. Um, but in order to make the centrifuge and the power and everything, you need rubber already. So that's why the slime ball recipe is there. You can just smelt them. Obviously, I don't want to keep going with the slime balls. I just would like to automate this somehow. And I saw there is a tree tap recipe that you actually need to make the centrifuge. And I'm wondering if that is something we can put on these trees here. And... I don't know. Um, sorry, pressed the wrong button. There we go. At Mur Trees? A wooden bucket. Plank and three logs. Perfect. Let's see what this does. If 
this maybe catches us latex or something. Gonna say this needs to go right there. It sure does. Shift doesn't show anything. Okay. And my other question is, can I fake this? Give me this tree. Oh yeah, these for some reason, you cannot vein mine. I don't know why. Give me that and I'm gonna go ahead and just break this. And take this. Come on. I switched. There we go. All right. All right, we'll just leave this, and I guess we can try it out here just before I go back if it actually works. Three, four. Put you there. Put you... Okay, so it is smart enough. You cannot do that. Okay, but I can grow one over on my island and have it set up there, so I don't need to come back here every two minutes. Give me uh, this sapling. That's fine. I'll replant that later. Go ahead and set this tree up right there in this green area. That's why I have space here. Uh, let's put it there. Grow for me. Please, thank you. Okay, let's put you there and you there. And I'm going to let this go and check it out how long it takes. In order to make these industrial grade metals, all you do is smelt iron in a furnace. I thought it was a blast furnace, but you don't even need that. Just any kind of furnace. So just right-clicking these gives you a latex and another latex. I already tried it. So you get two every time this bucket is full. But now I want to see if I can automate this. Um, let's, let's just try it on this one. Put a pipe there. It doesn't look like it's connecting. Oh, well, let's wrench this. No. Um, on the side. No. Um, if I use my oh, I can oh, I can. If I use this pick, I might. No, nope, I lost the dirt. Okay, that's fine. If we lose this, who cares? From underneath, it doesn't work either. Okay. Now let's make our first IC2 machine. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these cables, and then right here we're gonna need one of these circuits then we're gonna make some fuses put the fuses in here get a machine block and now i should have everything to make um oh i did put it here already put that there and that there and we got our centrifuge so these stopped working i'm guessing that this lock here is dried out i I am not sure, but what I wanted to try here is, okay, so these all popped out. If I can maybe just trick this, you know. Uh, I doubt it. Yeah, I can't. I can't put this on here again. So this is not a way that we can make this sustainable and automate it. But that is okay. We'll figure something out about that. Um, because, well, in a... Yeah, I just want to get rid of this here real quick. Because this is going to take up too much space. There we go. All right, but let's continue here with machines. We're going to make four iron furnaces. Then four of these LV batteries. And... Excuse me, hello. I clicked on you. So we're going to have to make one at a time, apparently, because these batteries don't stack. Or the generators. Cool. Why do these... Oh, did I put it on the wrong one? Maybe. Oops, that, that one there. All right. So now we got this. Then we're going to make some fluid cells. In... The this right yes there we go four geothermal generators now i have no idea if i should have paid attention here there is no ftb section for that stuff so oh but is it under 
Uh, where was this here? All the power? No, it's not there either. Okay. Neglected child. All right. Um, so I'm going to have that power. How are we going to do this? So we're going to have to have fluid pipes back here. Let's do them like this. I'm not going to hook up the thing right there just yet. But I would like to make a tank. Is there a cheap tank that we can make? Like basic fluid tank. Yes. Let's go make that real quick. And give it to me. That's enough buckets to last us a while. And we're going to put that in the end over here here okay so now we can set this up to extract and this is just a display bug here just so you know there was lava in there it's just weird okay and then of course we're gonna set up the item pipes And I know you guys told me that now I can make a faster heat source, but I can only do one thing at a time in an episode, guys. Um, you guys said something about 60 times as fast, something with mechanism. I can make a heat plate or something, okay? So, and then I think I want to come away once so they don't connect. And let's start them right here. We're going to put the LV cables on the bottom because I think... Gonna guess that that works. Yes, okay. So right there, and then we'll come with... Um, can I hop up here? Yes. Okay, do I have enough? Just. And fill that on the top. Bam, and now these should all be running. Good. Now we got the uh, whatever this is called, the lightning bolt, the the EU. I'm gonna call it. I also read, by the way, that it said here that allows one-way conversion from um, EU to FE. One EU is four FE, so that is pretty cool. So well, we can test this. If I put this here, it doesn't connect. I'm not sure how you would convert this, but I'm going to keep them separate. So now we have power for this. Um, it's going to be a minute until we actually use this power. And now we are going to go ahead and let's see. I should have enough inventory room. Hopefully, you know what? I can get rid of. No, I need those. Um, we are going to have to move our RF power first to get the most bang for our buck. And we did say we want to go with these here. So that's a lot of redstone. Holy moly. I don't think I have enough redstone for this. How much can I make? Seven. So that's not even enough. For, okay. So I'm going to need to make a bunch of dust. And go ahead with that. And I'm just going to leave all this in here. So I have an empty inventory uh, as much as I can. And I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch more redstone together. I already did some sand here while I was waiting for stuff to smelt. So I got 20 of these prismarine shards. And we only need... Let me add the stuff here. We only need six. So I have enough of that. This stuff I have... Yes, I might have to... Yeah, let me go ahead and get some more iron cooking because I'm starting to run low on this. What did I cook last? Copper. All right, let me go ahead and get this ready. Actually, before I get all this ready, I wanted to just add the centrifuge here. So if I need to make more stuff, it's going to be easier. So number one is this should turn the wood. So if I make a tree farm, you know, I can automate this rubber, even though I'm not sure what the like industrial foregoing, the only thing I can think of... Um, and then this now should turn into three rubber, if I'm not mistaken. So that's, it's okay. Better, better conversion than what I did so far with the slime balls. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, right here is a little screenshot of what 18 stacks of dust give you in the, with the iron meshes. And now we'll go ahead and make our three. I want three right now. 
energy cells, dimensional cells, and three cards. And before we use them, we're going to set them up first. So we put those in here, right? Yes, link number one. And I'll leave one in this one. Put one of this one and put one in this one. And now they're all linked together. And I'll take one with me. Actually, I can take them all. It doesn't matter. Um, and we need to come up here for a second. And I just hope that these actually pop into my inventory. Seriously? This is... Do these not have a metal part giving you magnetic? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, that's not like it was something cheap. Well, I guess you, you get out of here. Oh. Ah, oh, well. Nothing I can do. We'll go with three right now. I'll, I'll make more again later on, but this is going to be so much more power, and I think for the time being, I'm going to put this cell into here so i have access to it and of course it's not doing anything but i'm gonna set this to out and then it gets the symbol so now it's going to be connected to the cable and obviously to these two machines but it doesn't matter okay man that bums me out okay you two give me your leather yes this iron sword is so bad There we go. Um, no mob drops are here. Bing, bam. Okay, got everything. Now I gotta climb up here. I it's two and a half stacks of scaffolding. Then I stopped, and I'm still not at build height. But hopefully this is tall enough to get the max uh, amount for these uh, wind turbines. Okay, I used lower half slabs up here, so there's no mobs that can spawn up here. And we're just gonna go ahead and two, three, four. Put those right here. And now they are making 63. Wow. I know that can go a lot higher. I'm pretty sure it can. Alright, now I'm at 284. So, let's see. Now it's making 76.99. Okay, so that's another almost 14 RF a tick. That is fine. I hope that will be enough now. I mean, it's a lot more than we had down there. And if I had the fourth one, which I'm not bitter about at all. No. <laughs> um, okay, so put you there, there, and there. And then another one here. And I can get on top of this. Good. And wrench these to sucking out. And the wind turbines aren't hard to make, so it's okay. And then put one there, and this one we're going to set to all in. And now this is filling up. And I'm going to leave the scaffolding here for the time being, so I can add more wind turbines. And I just had the chunk boundary on, so I can actually see where I'm going. Hopefully I don't accidentally break this, but... Alright, good. Um, I made more pipes. Um, there we go. Fluid pipe. Because I want to... Um, let's come out here. Automatically refill the smeltery. Okay. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. So that is done. So much for my plan of showing everything on camera when it comes to crafting. Because this took me another two hours about. Of just sifting because I needed so much iron for these things. Oops, not F, R. Uh, for this right here, the blocks of iron, they need two each, this needs two each, and this needs four each. And um, I needed to get a little bit of extra redstone as well because I was running out, but I made XNet stuff. Um, this stuff was easy. This this was no problem. All of these, I just have a, the cactus farm I showed you guys earlier that works well. And then right here to make these. It's not expensive. These right here weren't bad. These upgrade cards, and I made six of them. And... Just to give an explanation here, um, you guys see the RF goes up to 64 if you put three in one. But if I would go to diamond, just one of them is 512 RF. We also have 10 wind turbines up there now, and I moved it all the way to build height. 
build height and then four down and that's how high you can place a wind turbine and i think it gives me 83.66 rf per tick something like that around 84 rf so we're making 840 rf per tick but if one of these cards takes 512 already that's it we're done right so we can only go with the gold but well let's go ahead and get everything set up okay and i'm thinking of putting the dimensional cell right here let's set this to out and we're gonna put the xnet controller on top i don't want to use these pipes with cards and stuff um i initially planned but xnet xnet rules um so that's what we're gonna do and also you know everything over one cable so we're gonna need two connectors right there and now i am gonna remove this one here i've got a lot more rubber Okay, I'm glad. I didn't even check if I need to put... You know what? Let me put this in here. I want this out of my inventory. I didn't even check if we need to wrench, but I think that they got rid of that a long time ago. And these four macerators that we're going to need for the setup, we're going to put directly here on the cables. Like that. Let's set it up. I'm going to worry about the connectors in a minute. I am not doing a very good job here, I apologize. So, they're going to push out the front. So, this one is going to turn cobble into gravel. This one is going to turn gravel into sand and sand into dust. And that's where these upgrade cards come in play. Because if I use three times the speed on this one, right, I'm going to get eight items processed. And then I put two into this one. This is going to produce four. And then this last one, just two. A little bit faster, right? But that means I'm going to make more sand. Then I'm going to sift. So half of that can go here, right? Half of this goes there. Half of this goes there. That's that's my thinking. I hope it works that way. And then after this, we are going into the sieves, which I'm not upgrading for now. And these, yes, push out underneath. Mm. Let me go sneak. There we go. One, two, three. So these are going to go on top here. And then after it's sifted, it needs to go into the compactors. And I made two of those. And these again push out underneath. So those we are going to put... Let's put them here for now. Hopefully, I don't need to redo this too often. So, there's two of them. Okay, now what else do I have? Yes, and then from there, it goes into the generator, uh, the macerators or into the storage. And the things that can be smelted after the macerating go into this emerald furnace. I thought I can upgrade it to obsidian. But I don't have blaze rods from right there. I, I The obsidian is no problem. It's just stone barrel. I actually did that over here. There's a stone barrel down here connected to this lava. So the lava automatically gets filled. And then I just right click, get an obsidian. You know, just like that. Easy peasy. Um, and put those away. I don't need you. Okay, and then this furnace. We are going to put... Let's put it here. Yes. And now, in order to power this furnace, we are going to use... Should I set it up there? No. In case I want to change these out to something, I'm going to put it right here. And that thing is called the wireless heat transmitter. Recipe. Easy. Put it there. And then... I think you put the card in here. Now it's tied. You see, it shows you the coordinates. And so this is wireless power that only works for these. And put that in here as the heat source. And then we can also upgrade this here. Augments, right there. We can make it faster and so on, but we'll see how well this keeps up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and wire this up. So I'm going to need you there. I'm going to need... I can share it right here. 
Hmm. How many do I have? Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 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 twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I need to make more of these. Let's go ahead and do that. If I share these, then I don't. But I'm worried that I maybe cannot pull out from the front of those machines. Let's see. And then it goes in there and then coming out. Actually, we can go on the... on the. Yeah, because I need to push into there. Yes, so... Then we'll do one, two, and three. And then one, two, three. And then I need to come out of these. One, two, th three. I need to make more. But this one would be south. I'm going to disconnect. Actually, yes. Now, why do I have them on top and not in the front here? There's no reason for that. So I can leave this one connected. Yes. So there. And then it goes to there and back out. And then... In, in. And I need two more to pull out of this. And then I need one more to put it into my storage drawer. And I need to redo these because all of this compacting, all of the, the dust is coming out. So I can move this one, I swear. If you fall into the void... Thank you. I'm gonna put this one... Right... I don't wanna have it in the walkway, so we're gonna put this... I wanna have it come in from the... F oh, I can remotely tie that! What am I doing? Yes! I forgot! I can yes oh but it's a it's a radius of twelve or something. Hmm You know what? I'm gonna leave it where it is. Now do you still did you still remember? No. Okay, so I need to use the linking card here real quick. It's set to there and there. But I need to make upgrades and stuff anyway. I think we're going to tie it into here next episode or between episodes because I have to empty all this out. So I think for the time being, I'm just going to use this one here to get the finished product for today, just so we see it. So there. That's that's where it goes for now, and then we can tie it up later. So I'm going to call this one here end output. Just so I know, because I'm going to have so many drawers. So I'm going to need to name all of these here now. So this is... Mac 1. Mac 2 slash gravel. This is Mac 3 slash sand. And this one is Mac 4 slash dust. I don't know why I'm typing it all in upper cat oh upper blah, in caps. And then here I need to um the return is fine. So this is going to be dust slash thief three. Yes. This one is just thief three. Then this one here is sand sieve two. This is gravel sieve one. And then this one is just sieve two and sieve one. Okay, and then I just need to name these two. This is going to be comp. R and comp L. So I need to pull out. I need to make two more to pull out of here. So then we pull out and we can stay in the back. 
and I just want to this is west we're not gonna connect west yo west oh that's up west <laughs> sorry okay and then this one is comp r again and comp I don't really need to name these, but it's fine. Okay, so now we just need to wire it all together. Um, not pretty, but it will work, and I don't need you down here. Okay, I changed this one out here to a golden chest. Um, and this is what it's made in about 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Um... And I decided to show you guys how I set up the channels now that everything is done because it just took too long. And show you a couple things on the way that I tweaked. Okay. Everything is in the same place and I connected the cable over here. That was the only thing that I added. Okay. So right here in the sand, I put sticks. Sorry, in the gravel. I put sticks so it can only put one stack in here. And the same I did in the sand to dust. Because... The gravel here would have never gotten anything until this one is full with sand. And only when I have surplus of sand, then this one filled up. And only when this one done, well, this doesn't matter um, because cobble we always had uh, unlimited, right? So I didn't have anything to sift. So now we have right here gravel. I click on this. What is this? 580, 136, and 195 dust. So that's the that's the one tweak I did right there, okay? Otherwise, everything is the same. And now let's go through the channels here. The first channel is electric uh, power, right? Energy. I just extract from the cube and insert into all these machines here that need RF. That's it. Then the second channel here, I am taking cobble out of that chest up there to the left and just inserting into the to the gravel hammer right the next channel um because from there don't forget i don't need to pull out because it goes straight into the drawer right it pushes out in front of it so then the next channel is i am extracting from the gravel and i'm putting it into this one here that's why there's a filter with gravel you are only allowed to get gravel and this one here only allowed to get sand okay and I'm extracting from the gravel and sand one. Dust, we don't need to do anything because it goes into the dust drawer and that's it. Next channel, we are pulling out from those three. The gravel, there's no filters here on the extract. But on the insert, I'm inserting gravel, sand, and dust. Next channel, because this one puts it in the inventory underneath it, right? I'm extracting from those three right there, everything. And then I have a filter here on the output and output chest where I blacklist it right there, blacklist all 11 of the pieces. There are still two pieces that we don't have, which is platinum that comes from crushed endstone and cobalt, which comes from crashed, uh, crushed netherrack. Okay. I'll add those once we need it. And so I'm inserting everything else, redstone, gunpowder, bone meal, all that jazz, right? Directly into the output chest. And then I have two filters up here on the compactors. One gold, silver, aluminum, zinc, osmium, kind of trying to split it up. And then iron, copper, tin, lead, and nickel and uranium, right? And this is what it looks like right there, right? Now it compacted again. It doesn't have anything else. And they're always empty, almost empty, right? It's It works well. There's no problem there. Good. And that one pushes it into the barrels underneath, which brings us to this one here, right? And now we know there's only chunks in here. So I'm extracting, no filters, nothing. And I'm inserting into the four macerators. Iron, you know, I kind of split it up. And I just made these chunks, or it's called raw, sorry, not chunk. And there we go, and the last one. And then once it's macerated, we're pulling it out. No filters on every, any one of them. Because again, everything now is dust that's going to be smelted. And I push it into the furnace. No filter needed. And then from there, I extract it on the last channel. And again, put it into the end output chest. No filters. So I hope this made more sense after the fact here. Because you guys see, it took me quite some time to set this up. And then 
I, I only had dust to play with because there was no sand or gravel for me to use. And when you look through here, you know, they're they're slow, they stay full, all of them. And then down here, I checked for a while, they're always empty, there's nothing backed up. Um, oh, one more thing that I needed to say is on the furnace, I needed to come into the config. And you guys see the top right here um, was, I think, only blue. But you can click on it until it is input and output. Top input slash output. And otherwise the 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 ingot was just sitting in here. It didn't pull it out, right? And I'm like, oh, do I need to get an advanced connector? No. All I needed to do is check this. And I turned the other ones all off. Just, you know, no confusion there. And that is it. Yeah, and it's working. Um, it's slow. But hey, this, like I said, maybe by now it's about half an hour. But I didn't have to do anything. I don't need to fill the smeltery. I get all end products. Now, I definitely want to make this nicer, but we're going to do this next episode in the beginning. I have an idea on how to make this look, you know, much more pleasing than just a mess of cables here. But I wanted to get materials. I'm just tired of sifting. So now, for example, overnight, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just do something like this let me show you we can do this here real quick just so i can actually afk let's just go eight why not yes just like that and that should work i hope if this item mod this piping mod is not dumb um it's not very smart i did not like it um i know i forgot what it was benchmark i think or something like that so if I go here, 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 I got to get up there, here, here, bam, bam, bam. And then we'll go one cable here to there. Now this one is of course in the way. Put that, really? I said put it there, good. And then we'll go there, there. And then we go there, there, and we just disconnect them right here, right there, and right there, right? And then I say, pull everything out of here. So it's going to put everything into this chest. Then I'm going to say, pull everything out of here into that chest, pull everything out of here into that chest, and guess what? Pull everything out of here into that chest. So everything will go on the top first. It's going to fill this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and then this. It's probably total overkill. I don't think I'm going to get all of this in one night, but I, I'd like to. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Yep. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.